Hello guys, welcome back to this Rob with Tech. Today is going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to show how to install AdGuard uh, Home using Portainer. So right now, um, I have Portainer here running. I, I am using Open Media Vault and that's where I have Portainer installed, but this would apply for any other operating system as long as you have Portainer. So first thing that when um, you deploy AdGuard, it, it uses port, port 443 and port 80 which are used in open media vault so what i like to do is i like to give a static ip address within my network so first of all what we're going to do is we need to create a mac vlan network and the way we're going to do that is here in portainer you go to networks you're going to do add a network we're going to call this mac vlan now this is just going to be a configuration you specify that now here you have to specify the network adapter that you have uh, let me see. I don't remember which one I have. Let me check. So mine is ENS18. So that's what I'm going to put. ENS18. But this would be the one that is your primary network. Now here for subnet, this is going to be the subnet that you're using in your environment. Um, so this might be 192.168.1.0 or it depends on what you're using. For my gateway, but I know my gateway is going to be this. Or the same IP address that one. Add an extra zero. There it is. Now this is just going to create the configuration. So if you just do it like this, is this is not going to be complete. So you have this Mac VLAN with a null driver. So this won't work. You have to do add network again, and you're going to specify. I like to name mine local dash network, so I can know that this is the uh, network that will allow me to use a Mac VLAN or a, put a static IP address. So I'm going to go into creation and you're going to go ahead and select the Mac VLAN, the one we created, and we can just go ahead and create network. And now we have a local network here. And now it's using the Mac VLAN. Uh, you can see the subnet and the IP address. I mean the gateway. So now we're going to go to containers and to create, we're going to just do add new container. I'm going to say at guard home. I'm going to put a two because I had already created one uh, on the open media vault, but I wanted to show you oh, a video on pertainer. Now for the image, you can just go ahead and copy this right here. So, all right, then pull image. Now, one of the, the options that you have to change here on volume, you have to do add two volumes or two mounts. I mean, not mounts, two binds. Um, we're going to do bind and bind. Now, so for the, for the container, right? This is going to be, I'm going to paste it in here. It's going to be for slash OPT add guard home slash work. And the other one is going to be the same thing, but ending with conf. So I'm going to copy that in here for the container. Now for host, this is going to depend on where you want to put the files on your actual machine. So like if you're using open media vault, right? Usually you use services compose here. You use this app data folder, but you can just go back to storage shared folders and you can copy it from here. You get the absolute path. Now this might be different in your case. If you're not using open media vault, this would be like forward slash home. Uh, your username. So it just depends where you want to store that. But in this case, I'm going to store it in the app data folder. So I'm just copying this path. So I'll take it back here and I'm going to add my path. Then I still have to do, I'm going to do forward slash. I'm going to create a folder for it. So at guard home to forward slash work directory. I'm just going to copy this one paste it down here and I'm going to modify the last from work directory. I'm going to change it to come. Now that's what we're going to need for the volumes. Uh, we're going to go network here. We're going to go ahead and specify local network. Now here you're going to specify the IP address that you want to use. So in my case, I want to use uh, the 87 one. You so that should be good. Post name. Add guard home to 
Now the other thing that you need to do is a restart policy. Usually I like to do the uh, uh, restart policy unless stop. That just means that the container would always restart unless you stopped the container. You can always you can also use always so it can always be restarting. So that should be it. So let's deploy container. All right, so we got our Adgar home too. You should just be able to do the IP address that you specified, which was the 10.0.0.87. Then you're going to do colon. I think it's port 3000, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. Now I'm just going to do next, next. Create my user. Next, open dashboard. I'm going to sign in real quick. I put the wrong password. All right, so there's the uh, AdGuard installed. There's a lot of different settings in here that you can modify if you want. I'm not going to really touch uh, base on that. There's a lot of guides on this. I just wanted to show you how to get AdGuard installed, but I can show you is working. So if we open up a command prompt, we open up a command prompt and I could specify NS lookup and then I could do server. And I could ask 10.0.0.87. This would be that that uh, server for the ad guard. And then I could do uh, Google.com. Uh, it resolves. I could do like Yahoo.com. Now if we go back here and we refresh. You can see that now there is queries. So it is in fact uh, doing the DNS resolver and gives you the IP address for my computer that is being used. Um, that would be pretty much it. I know like if you want to, because you can specify this to be your main uh, DNS server, you just have to specify it on your router. All right, guys, well, that will be all for this video. Uh, if you have any video suggestions, drop it down in the comments. Uh, if you want to see a more in-depth setup guide on this ad guard, just drop it down in the comments and I could create another video on it. Uh, for now, that will be all. Thanks all.